Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we are playing level 188 on a quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 25 moves to clear out 37 jelly. Now, there's only 37, and all the jelly that's on the board is already where we can see it. So, everything we see, double thick and single thick up in these notches, that's all the jelly there is. There's none under the two layer thick frosting, the chocolate, the meringue frosting, or the marmalade. But what is under the marmalade are these wrapped candies and striped candies already positioned together. So if we can open them up at the exact same time, we have a stripe wrap combo. In the meantime, I'm going to tr try and strike this frosting as much as possible to clear out um, some space so we can work down here. And I also want to deal with the chocolate so it doesn't start to grow onto our board. Hmm, I don't see any moves that strike the frosting or chocolate here, so I'm going to try and create some cascades. Alright, so when it comes to using those stripe wrap combos, there's a specific strategy I like to use. I try and use um, the two stripe wrap combos that are farthest away from each other. And by that I mean I try and use the one on the left. And when I use it, it not only takes out the jelly in these fingers, the isolated areas, uh, one part of the board, but it also opens up all the others. And with the others, I try and use the one that's the farthest away. So if I use the one on the left, then for the other um, this is a combo that I can use, I will use the one on the far right. And by doing that, I clear out all the isolated areas on the far edges of the board, which are the most difficult. Because really, I only ever get to use two of these stripe wrap combos, because when I use one, it takes out the marmalade. When I use the other, it takes out the other two combinations. I'm struggling against this board, however. It's not giving me very many good opportunities. Here we go, finally. All right, so we've opened this up. I'm going to take this. It's going to clear out a lot of stuff, and it's going to give me these three combos that I can use. Before I set this off, I'm going to make a move up here, clearing out some of the jelly in the fingers. Ah! Oh, this is so good. This level went from being a struggle for me to being something I think I can get done now. What's interesting about this is by doing this combination, it's going to clear out a lot up here. It's going to set these two off, but hopefully it's not going to set this off. At least I don't think it will. But really it is going to clear out almost everything else. So we only have six jelly left. Oh, it set it off. So we only have six jelly left in these fingers. And actually it's only in this finger. So I'm going to try and clear out as much as I can manually, and then I'm going to use this divinely created color bomb to clear out the rest. In fact, I could just do this with a manual match, which is good, but I'm going to take it all blue because it gives me a lot more points. So that's how I beat level 188. Not the way I expected to beat it, but sometimes strategies take a, shall we say, detour. The good thing is we were still able to complete this level. The best way to complete it, I think, is to go for those stripe wrap combos that are the furthest away from each other, if you can manage it, to clear out the fingers on the edges, the isolated areas. And then try and work towards the center of the board, the center finger, which should be the easiest to clear out, because it's easier to work in the center than it is the edges. But if you don't get to use the stripe wrap combos like you want to, Go for color bombs, go for cascades, anything that will clear out a lot of jelly and leave you with a completed mission and free passage to level 189. So if you're really struggling with this level, I would recommend bringing in perhaps a color bomb or the jellyfish booster, because since they become part of the candy mix, they can help you with some of the isolated squares in the end game. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you. And as always, thanks for watching.